these ideas come from taking details of Pictish art, other influences come from the wood itself and from the landscape and nature. The bulk of the work of all the pieces we've done with the chainsaw, maybe 70, 80% of it is chainsaw work. And then I'll go into using hand tools, sanders, etc. to finish it off. as much as I can from this position. That's been a big fork, maybe four or five big limbs coming out there. Yeah. You can see the... You know, you, you've got a limb coming out here, probably a massive limb there. One coming out here. And so you imagine if that was a log and you were trying to split it, it would be really hard. You wouldn't, you know, it's just a grain. So that allows me to curve it over like that. Yeah. yeah. It's not what some people think. I've got some magic chemical that I can put on and just kind of fold them over, you know? I have had people seriously saying that, you know, how do you manage to bend it into that shape? When I really started doing this, um, this work, this wood sculpture in, in Edinburgh, uh, after spotting the elm tree trunks that were lying in the parks, right? trees that had been taken down because of the Dutch elm disease and uh, approached the um, parks department and it just was a coincidence they were looking for a sculpture for a, a sculptor for a project that was happening in Edinburgh at the time and uh, that, that's more or less what got me started. The sculpture in the centre here is made from ash Ash is a very long, straight grained wood. There's a lot of strength in it. I was just trying to show, show that. It's quite a musical piece. I'm sure somebody could get a tune out of it. Part of the difference about the way I work is that they're not, most of them aren't constructed pieces, they're carved out of the one piece of wood one big tree trunk which we kind of hope captures something of the spirit of the tree and gives it an energy as well that you don't that you wouldn't get with constructed pieces. I think it's a shame to even cut them, you know, because they're quite nice the way they're good the way they are. So there's a few of the landowners and the and the woodcutters round about know you know kind of know what I'm doing now and 
contact me when they've got some interesting bits of timber. You know the kind of wood that I'm looking for. It'll keep me busy for a month or two. Thank <laughs> you.